Here they want you to work out the differential of this quadratic function from first principles. So you cannot assume the rule for differentiation that you're used to using. Let's start off by drawing a quick sketch of the function. So we cut here at 2. It's a quadratic. Um, if I were to pick a point on the curve, x, and then pick one a little further along and call the gap between them h, that would make this point x plus h. And then the y values would be fx, because you always sub the x value into the function, don't you, to get the y value, and fx plus h, respectively. The way we normally work out the gradient between two points is by doing change in y over change in x. So dy by dx would be the two y values subtracted from each other over the two x values subtracted from each other. Um, and then those two would just cancel. Okay, and now clearly you're thinking this is a curve though, not a straight line graph. But if we make h become very, very small, so small that it's almost zero, then the gradient of the straight line between these points will start to very closely resemble that of the curve. So that's the strategy we're using here. Okay, so let's put in x plus h into this function to get f x plus h. And then we've got to put, subtract fx, so that's just the function itself, with x in, and then divide by h. Okay, let's multiply out the top, because at this stage you normally see things that you can cancel out. Okay, and then we've got minus x squared minus 7x plus 2 there, all over h. Right, I can see that x squared will cancel with that one. I've got minus 7x cancelling there, and I've also got 2 cancelling over there. So then I'm going to have on the top 2xh plus h squared minus 7h over h. Um, I can divide h through by each function. Right, now we said we were going to make h very very small. So if I do that, if I say the limit of that expression as h tends to 0, means that this h will disappear because it becomes so tiny and so negligible that I can ignore it. I am left with 2x minus 7. So that's the answer. And what you can do, just to check whether you're right or not, is just do the traditional differentiation rule for the function. So if y is x squared minus 7x plus 2, let's differentiate it. Bring down the power, the power becomes 1 less. Here, your x will become x to the 0, and then that's just 1, and the constant term disappears. So yeah, it looks like that's correct.